You're looking at Montoya, expecting him to come into the pits. The Williams mechanics are down there. The tyres are out of the blankets. And uh, expect to see Montoya diving to the right here. There he goes. That's bad news for the Grand Prix. He certainly had the speed to uh, have a look at the Ferraris. And this time around, Michael Schumacher, two tenths faster. So the uh, amazing pace Barrichello had on those fresh tyres has just ebbed away quickly. Ted. Montoya's tyres were starting to go off anyway, so this is a relief just looking at they are quite badly worn. Of course, because he started in the T car, his, th that car had to have a heavier fuel load than the one he originally went to the grid with. So I think that explains some of it, but that's unfortunate. Oh, what's this? A black flag? Yep, it's black flag for Montoya. I wonder if there's some technical issues with him using the spare car at the beginning of the race. Did he have two cars in play effectively? He left one on the grid. I think you're allowed to do that. But uh, Montoya didn't take the black flag because he happened to pit on that lap. He'll get it next time past. The team will know anyway. They'll be on the radio to him. I would imagine they'll use their three laps race that they've got to go and understand why he's been black flagged. Or maybe they'll just call him in. But uh, that's Sam Michael then probably calling Juan Pablo Montoya into the pits. Uh, is it another technical infringement for Williams just seven days later? Seven days after the uh, disqualification in Montreal. Both cars, Ralph Schumacher's second place finishing Williams. Montoya's fourth place finishing uh, car. Both disqualified for break that infringements. Black flag means you've got to come into the pits because your race is over. We're not being given the reason up on the computer at the moment by the race stewards, but here comes Montoya. He's not wasting any time. And uh, once again, Indianapolis, not a happy hunting ground for one Montoya. Here last year, he came, he arrived with a chance of the championship and his championship hopes were finished off here by well, the stewards, brought him in through a drive through penalty. And now he's gonna park a perfectly healthy car Ted, what can you tell us? Juan Montoy furiously retires. Second race in a row. Williams have a disqualification. It is because of the incident on the grid when the first car wouldn't, sta wouldn't start up and they had to use the T car. I believe it's because the T car had not been nominated and didn't receive a sticker from the FIA. A small administrative problem, but it is because he just jumped into that T car and went with it without going through the proper procedure.